There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world Hey yo, hey, it's your girls A. Today's video is going to be one of those familiar companies. You know, my people's at RPG show. They wig comes already ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. I'm gonna show you how it comes. into this we're gonna go ahead and first put a side part because you know your girl don't do the middle parts especially on bobs now for my side part i did use a wax stick this will help when i'm training the part with the heat with my hot comb it actually helps press the hair now with rpg show wigs you really don't need to do much unless you want to change the parting it already comes pre-bleached for you if you choose that option pre-plucked with a natural hairline also pre-styled These wigs are great for any newbie who doesn't really know too much about installing or styling or bleaching a unit. Now first, we're gonna go ahead because we gotta make this look as natural as possible. So we definitely need to cut the lace. I do prefer to use a short curved scissor so that way it's not blunt and I can control the scissor and where it's cutting much easier. Now to install my units, I always use the Aussie Instant Freeze. I went ahead and got me a new bottle. The bottle has changed, well the design has changed a little bit, but it still gives that great holding power. And for this particular unit, I'm only going to be spraying two layers on. I went ahead and put on my elastic band just so that way I can style the unit. I decided I wanted to put some curls in this because I'm not really a big bob wearer and it all depends on the texture. And I also thought this unit would look really nice if it were curled. Now I do like the color of this unit. I do like the way it is darker at the roots and went lighter to the blonde. Girl, I really do prefer to curl all of my units on a mannequin head, but for this video's sake and because I really didn't know if I was going to wear it curled, I did do it on camera. Now I did notice that the unit is a little bit dry only because the hair has been processed to a lighter color and that will happen with any wig or even your own natural hair when you are color treating it. The one thing that I will suggest when purchasing a wig is to always condition it and if it is a color processed unit, try to deep condition it allowing it to see, sit in the deep conditioner for about a couple of hours. This will soften the hair and it will also give it more luster. Now y'all know I need my sideburns. Sideburns is everything, but with an RPG show unit, 
you really don't need any type of baby hairs at all. I did decide to pluck some of the hairline only because I didn't want a uniform look, but I did want it to look a little sparser in the front hairline. Now, as I stated, you should deep condition your units when they come color process. When I received this unit, I did not wash it. I did not keep deep conditioning. I just put it on as is. I would have benefited a lot had I went ahead and deep conditioned it. That way, deep conditioning and conditioning also helps tame any flyaway hairs that are in the unit. RPG Show did a really good job with this coloring. I give it to them. Y'all know I didn't, I'm not that best of a curler, so the back looked like it. You know, if I was on my mannequin head, girl, it would have definitely came out good. But just to make my part a little bit more visible, I went ahead with my concealer. I'll definitely leave all the information down below for RPG Show. Let me know what you think of this unit. The little hairs that is picking up is driving me insane. I didn't even notice them until the end of the video, but that's the reason why I wear my glasses now. But all the information will be down below for RPG Show. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up. I love you guys. Stay safe, and I'll see y'all in the comments. Bye.